Hi friends, this is Kingsley the trainer and in today's video we are going to see as to how you have to give an effective presentation, how to overcome the fear of presenting yourself to an audience and how to improve your public speaking. So in the first slide you would be able to see the nine P's of how to overcome the fear of public speaking. Prior and proper preparation, pre-events, poor performance of the person putting on the presentation. So which means that if you're not well prepared and uh, if you have a poor display of your presentation, you would be definitely putting a poor performance. But on the other hand, if you are really prepared well, you would be able to give a very good presentation and you don't have to fear about anything. So moving on to the next slide. Do not be afraid. So fear is a major key which prevents your success. Sometimes an audience may see intimidating. They might repeat what you're saying. They might laugh, they scorn. Uh, they might make a mock of you. They might uh, have some fun. They might not even listen to you. So all this would happen. Do not fear. But always remember there are also people who like you. So the positive side is always there and also the negative side. So therefore, don't look on the negatives, but rather focus on the positives. Even out of 100 people are listening to you, if one person likes your speech, you are really doing a great job. So you have to think in that perspective and you have to move forward. Imagine that you're addressing your friends, whomsoever it may be in the audience, maybe even the prime minister, or the president who is sitting in front of you. You consider them as your friend. So when you feel like as if you are talking to your friend, you will not be really afraid and you will keep on moving. Moving on to the next slide, you would understand more about the preparation. Try to conquer the nervousness. Don't get nervous. To avoid the nervousness, you need to speak slowly, understand what you are trying to tell them and try to minimize your stage fear. So take a deep breath and try to relax. If required, drink a little bit of water. And then moving on to the next slide, you will find that concentrate on topic and not the audience. Remember, winners continue, losers stop. So you have to continue on the topic, you have to prepare well and keep moving. So that is very important for an effective presentation. And uh, what is that you are going to convey to the public? What is that uh, people are going to listen to you? You have to announce your topic clearly. So you're organizing your delivery and give an outline of your presentation in your introduction. So surely you need to give an outline. What is that you are trying to say? So then comes your objective. Put your objective up front. Make them understand what is the key idea you want to deliver to them. And by doing so, you would be definitely giving a very good presentation. And when it comes to the delivery part, how is that you can give an effective presentation? Look upon the eyes of people. So the body language is very important and your voice. So you have a very good voice. You would be able to enthrall the audience. You will be able to keep them on hold, make them listen to you and your expression, move your hands and uh, look upon the audience and speak and the body language. It shows that you are in perfect control of the situation. And then organizing your delivery, the opener. Tell them what you're going to tell them. Set the tone. Capture your audience attention. Build the rapport. Tailor your opener to your audience. So by doing so, you would be able to give a very good and very effective presentation. So in the opener, you are going to give the introduction. You'll start with the bank to get that right attention probably you could give an icebreaker you could throw a joke or a quotation or a story my favorite speaker is uh, the former president of the united states is mr barack obama so when you see him addressing the british parliament you would find that he is using a very good joke to make them stay on tune with what he is trying to convey so that is how you have to be a good orator a good speaker so you have to start with a bang be warm and friendly. Provide the real facts and figures. Don't fudge the figures. So provide the right figures. 
and always pose a question to the audience. Hey, come on friend, are you able to answer this? Are you able to understand? You engage the audience when you're speaking. So all this would be part of the effective presentation. And then comes in the middle of the delivery, you say it. Organize the presentation around the main aspects of the subject. Do not deviate from the topic. So that is also very, very important. And the body of the presentation, cover the subject in logical order. Repeat important points. Use visuals wherever possible. The voice should not be too fast, no, not too high or too slow. And always have a smile. So if you smile, the other person will always smile. So don't have a stern face. Make clear eye contact. Do not lock your arms. Do not fold your hands. Have a gentle behavior. Use your hands to freely express yourself. And keep your knees unlocked, head up. Move, connect with the audience, breathe and relax. Keep moving around the podium. And finally, coming to the close, tell them what you have told them. Reiterate the theme. Summarize the message. Repeat key points. Ask for action. And end on a positive note. So, by listening to this video, I hope you would be able to definitely give an effective presentation from now on. And this is Kingsley, the trainer, signing off from you. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Thank you.